I'll say this again because a lot of you guys weren't in the chat when I said this earlier, but uh, improvement is a lifestyle. You can't just just you can't just want to improve for a little while, you know. Like there's there's difference with there's a difference between motivation and habit, right? Or discipline. And what it comes down to is about having the discipline to improve. And you need to incorporate that into all aspects of your life and not just this single thing. And because even if you improve in this one single thing, your other parts of your life are falling behind and they'll hold you back. So improvement needs to be an overall lifestyle if you want to improve at something. And so how do I find the drive to keep improving? Well, I would say I don't find the drive to keep improving. I I have the discipline to keep improving. I've set my life up in the way that it's routined where I I know my goals. I know what I want to achieve and I everything I do is somehow striving to achieve those goals. Um if you find it hard to do what you want to do, then that means your priorities, you know, I don't know what your life's like, right? Like, maybe you have some responsibilities that you need to take care of. Yeah, sometimes, you know, when you don't... I'll say if you're having trouble doing what you want to do, then you need to change what you're doing. You know, it's as simple as that. Sometimes you can't, you know, sometimes you have responsibilities for certain things, but... Um, other times, you can actually make make the time for what you want to do. What books do I recommend? I recommend The Inner Game of Tennis. I recommend The Art of Learning by Josh Watskin. I recommend highly The Ego is the Enemy. Um, what else? The Art of Mental Training. Uh, these are all books that I've read in the past half year that are super good. 